Now, it is really easy to dismiss pretty much any phone that Huawei releases because Huawei phones today don't use the latest chipsets and lack 5G. And let's not forget to mention they don't come with official Google mobile services. Yet, despite these limitations, their phones are still really expensive compared to the rest. But this doesn't mean that we should just label them as bad products such as the case with the Nova 12S. This is a 2000 ringgit 4G phone that uses a three-year-old chipset and is hardly even a refresh of the previous model with the same screen, same body, same cameras, but just a different back design. So naturally, I would be lying if I recommend you to spend 2000 ringgit on this phone because there's just so much better choices that we can choose from. However, we still have a review to get on and let's talk about what the Huawei Nova 12S is all about. So if we don't look into the spec sheet, the Huawei Nova 12S is a pretty fashionable device that I think some people will really like. It has the same slim 6.88mm body profile as the Nova 11 but with a new back design and it still has the same beautiful 6.7 inch Full HD Plus OLED display that refreshes at 120Hz with super slim and symmetrical bezels that shims even the Galaxy A55. It has dual stereo loudspeakers speakers that even some mid-range phones don't come with and it has a really nice, unique camera array. To anyone who doesn't care about specs and all, this is a perfectly fine device that doesn't look dated at all even for modern mid-range phone design standards. But there's no escaping on mentioning specs in a tech review. The Nova 12S has a Snapdragon 778G 4G processor with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage which even if we don't take its retail price into consideration, it is truly lacking behind the competition. But let's forget about the latest processes for now and ask this question. Does this old hardware still work well for most of the stuff we do on the Nova 12S? Well, the Snapdragon 778G is one of the most capable chips that we have seen for the past three years and still continues to work well on the Huawei Nova 12S. You definitely can't tell in the real world that this phone is running on an old hardware as apps still run fine, app launch fast and you can switch between apps with like no issues at all. Games like Honkai Star Rail run 60 FPS in medium graphic setting with no issues and it doesn't cause the phone to heat up terribly even when you are consistently doing something on it for long hours. Also, we all know that the lack of Google mobile services can be very troublesome to switch from any proper Android phone. But if you are in a person that depends entirely on Google, most Google apps will work fine and you will still be able to sign in to your Google account as usual, all thanks to the Micro G framework. Which I was surprised that it worked so well even on restoring my WhatsApp chat backup from Google Drive. Most essential apps can still be thankfully found on the Huawei app gallery and even if they aren't, it still points you to reliable sources to download the APK file which, to be honest, it really doesn't bother me at all. What I am pretty happy with the Huawei Nova 12S is the cameras. Although the main 50 megapixel camera lacks optical image stabilization, it is still able to offer very respectable image quality that some mid-range phones couldn't. You also get an 8 megapixel ultra-wide camera that takes pretty acceptable shots, but what's even more interesting is the front camera which takes up to 60 megapixel steels. That's pretty gimmicky of course, but it really delivers superb quality photos and possibly one of the best that I have seen. What's really nice here is that both the rear and front cameras can take 4K 30 FPS videos, which is uncommon on other mid-range phones. Despite having a 4600mAh battery, the Nova 12S has no issues lasting a single day of heavy use and it is pretty expected because it doesn't have support for 5G networks. Huawei 66 watt supercharging can juice up the phone in no time if you forget to charge. Though it isn't the fastest charging wattage, it is still pretty respectable and faster than many other mid-range phones. Ultimately, the Huawei Nova 12S is a good product and if it isn't priced so unreasonably high, I would wholeheartedly recommend this phone to anyone who feels comfortable with Huawei software and ecosystem. This isn't a phone you should buy at 2000 ringgit and considering the age of its hardware, the lack of 5G and official Google support, it could have been priced way lower even if it is to appeal to those who doesn't care about 5G and Google. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the Huawei Nova 12S. What about yours? Do let me know about them in the comments down below if you would buy a Huawei Nova 12S if it is priced way below its retail price at probably around under 1000 ringgit. I guess that would be a pretty good price even if it is a phone that doesn't come with Google support. Let me know about them in the comments down below. But as for now, that's all for my review of the Huawei Nova 12S. Let me know 
about all your thoughts in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming right up and i'll see you guys in the next one